with you throughout the day as well. Um, we want to get to this though. Just speak it into existence. That's an old saying that we've all heard a time or two, maybe more than that. But what if we can make this phrase real and work for ourselves? Well, someone who knows a lot about this is manifestation coach and author Kathleen Cameron, who is joining me right now. I'm so excited to talk to you because I hear this all the time. A little skeptical. Uh, when I hear this from yeah, people yeah. sometimes, however, I know it works. So I'm excited to see how we can jumpstart this whole thing. I love when I get skeptics. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I got you right at right where I need you. Yeah, those are the ones I love to mm -hmm. tell you more because it can be so magical for you mm -hmm. when you start to believe in the power of your own thinking, feeling, and actions. You literally change your whole life. So you're going to love this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tell me how you even got, went down this road. Yeah. Well, I'm a registered nurse and I was a nurse for 12 years. And then in September of 2019, I met a man named Bob Proctor from the movie The Secret. And Ooh. I started learning about law of attraction and I call it manifestation now. And I started applying the principles and my life exploded. So I'm not a nurse anymore. I teach this travel around the world, uh, write books and just help people to create the life of their dreams. Um, especially during some hard times, mm -hmm. we really use positivity to see the good and to be grateful and really, really create uh, positivity as much as we can. Are you surprised with how how the direction your life went after you met this person and started manifesting? Yes, yeah, yeah. We, we use language of quantum leaping mm -hmm. or collapsing time. So I've done things and students in my energy have done things that would take people lifetimes. And I've done it in under two years. And oh so, gosh. yeah, so uh, everything related to money, business, health, love, relationships, family, and of course, self-love, which now, is so important. I was gonna ask you, what's the number one thing that you have people reach out to you about or want to, I guess, change, yeah. right? That's something that they want to change and see something positive come out of. The number one thing that people think they want and they originally come to me for is to manifest more money. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but what ends up happening uh -huh. though is they, um, they go on a journey of personal growth and development. They begin to love themselves. Mm -hmm. They begin to love their lives. They begin to live in gratitude and it becomes less about the money but the experience that they have with their own life and uh, obviously quality of life. So usually money, but it ends up being far more than just the money. It gets deeper than that. Yeah, very much. Because we all much. know money can't buy happiness. There's a lot of unhappy rich people. Yes, this is very true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your new book is called Best of Yourself. Yep. We have it right over here. Also, beautiful photo on the front, by the way. Um, share a little bit about the chapters and what, what people can learn. Um, this book is, I call it's a remembering. So when we were born, we loved ourselves. We were fearless. We were daring. We didn't care what people thought about mm -hmm. us. We would just try and try again. And we uh, lived in a place of joy and fun and ease and flow. And so this book is to help people along a journey of remembering who they've always been and returning to what I coin as the best of yourself. So you're giving me this book then? You, you can have this book. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. I want to know some of your best tips on manifestation too before we go away. Oh my gosh. The number one thing is, is that you become what you think about the most. So people will often say, I knew. I'm laughing because I've been so negative lately. So this is great for me. Keep going. People will say things like, I knew that was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, because you had this underlying fear or worry and the sponsoring thought was, oh no, what if the worst case scenario happens? Mm -hmm. So a simple shift to the best case scenario, always hoping for the best, what would you love? It shifts your whole energy and it moves you into a place of then attracting more of the good into your life. Mm. But it's also about perceiving the good that's already there. So there's a lot of good, but if you're in a negative mindset, you will notice the bad mm -hmm. and then you attract more of that. Ugh, so find the good like cycle. Yeah. Are you yeah. in LA? Uh, right now yeah. I am, but no, I don't live here. Okay, well, we'll have lunch before you leave. I'm here. Because I, I need a bigger dose of you. Thank you yeah. so much for being here. We're going to put all this information up on our website. You're amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to learn more.